Welcome to Daily Dose Radio, a five-minute devotional podcast studying the Psalms verse by verse. Broadcast from the ever-beautiful Sharonville, Ohio, on the sunny side of Cincinnati. Welcome back to Daily Dose Radio. Here at Daily Dose Radio, you can feel the sultry breeze of Bible study blowing in off the ocean gulf of God's great love. And today we're looking at Psalm 139. We're going to look at verses 2 and, oh, wait a minute, verses 3 and 4. There, we got it right. Verses 3 and 4 today. And yesterday we started with 1 and 2 and talked about how he knows. You know, he's he knows everything about us. He's watching us closely. He knows when I sit down, when I rise up. He knows my thoughts from a distance. And that we talked about that yesterday. From a distance doesn't mean, you know, from five miles away. He knows your thoughts from heaven's distance. He knows your thoughts through time. He knew what you were going to be thinking about later today when you were born. See, he he knew all about you even before you were born. He knew your thoughts from a distance. Today, let me read for you verses 3 and 4. My path and my couch you sift, and all my ways you intimately know. For there is not a word of my tongue. Behold, O Lord, you know it completely. One of the things you've noticed, I'm sure, is how many times the word know is used here. We have it six times in the first six verses. We had it, let's see, twice, no, twice, and then another word uh, used Another word that's translated understand, which falls into the same category. Then we have this word for intimately know. So God is acquainted intimately with the knowledge of you. And we have it in verse 4. Behold, O Lord, you know it completely. So intimate knowledge and complete knowing is in God's corner. And it's all about you. Look at verse 3. My path and my couch. Yusuf. So even the going, you know, the the walking, whatever, wherever your path takes you in life, what is your vocation? What is your occupation? What are you doing? Well, God knows that. He's intimately acquainted with what you do. Your couch, that is your bed, where you sleep at night, where you rest, and all the other things that you do on that bed. Ladies and gentlemen, God knows that intimately. He is acquainted with everything about you, where you go, where what you do, and when you lie down for sleep. He knows that as well. And then you'll notice the word that I've translated to sift. It means to winnow, like you're winnowing corn or grain of some kind. Or, or perhaps, you know, when my wife makes cookies, and I love when my wife makes cookies, and I hope she's listening to this today because I would love some cookies. When my wife makes cookies, she sifts the flour. She has a little metal sifter, and um, it's, and she puts her cup or her cup and a half of flour in there, and then she she moves it back and forth so that the flour comes out, and it comes out in this really fine powder. But inside, what's left are the lumps. Well, see, God is sifting, so he's 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 separating from you the knowledge about you. The so that's how he does it. His your path and your couch, he sifts. So he can know it all, and of course he does. And all the ways of you are intimately known by him. For there is not a word on my tongue. Now listen to this. Behold, O Lord, you know it completely. A word on the tongue? You mean everything that I say? God has a record book. He's keeping track of all you say. So he knows your ways. He knows your couch. He knows your path. He knows your sitting down and your rising up. There's not a word on your tongue that the Lord doesn't completely know. He knows all of it, and it's all about you. That's how intimately acquainted he is with you. Isn't that wonderful? And still, even though he's that intimately acquainted with you, Jesus died for you, friend. He died for you, even though God knows you, and he knows all of it. He knows every single thing about you, and yet he loves you. And he sent his son to die on a cross just for you to take your place so that you wouldn't have to face the judgment of God, so that you could be called a son or daughter of God. Would you receive that gift today? I hope you will. And I hope you'll join me tomorrow as we look at verses 5 and 6 on Daily Dose Radio. 
Thanks for listening to Daily Dose Radio. I'm David Smith. The music today has been performed by the Bluegrass Experiment. Thanks again for listening. I'll see you next time on Daily Dose Radio.